Hello and welcome to a video demonstration of the latest version of Easy Root for the Motorola Droid and Droid X running Android 2.1. Uh, for tonight we have a Droid X as our demonstration device running of course Android 2.1 update 1 as you would expect on a Droid X. Um, for demonstration purposes we're going to use wireless tether for root users as our uh, example application. You can see I open it. Oh, uh, no root. How sad. So we're going to exit out of there, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to root your Droid X with Easy Root. We open up Easy Root, and we get the uh, little disclaimer message of if your phone explodes, it's not our fault. So we hit I agree. You can't currently see the text right alert there. It says it's waiting for Bluetooth, because um, it does have to turn the Bluetooth on for the exploit to work. And there's a little button right there. And sorry, it's blurry, but it just says root me. So we click it. And... Done. Congratulations. This Motorola Droid X has been rooted. You can see right there it says you're rooted. You need to reboot to finish the process. So we just Let's see if I can left handed hold the power button down apparently. There we go. We're gonna power this bad boy off. And Power back on, and while it powers back up, I will note this: um, this application does support the uh, Motorola uh, Droid One, if you want to call it that, the original Droid as well, running 2.1, um, and update for the application to support both of these devices as well as the Droid Two, running Android 2.2 Froyo, is in the works and should be um, very soon available, um, which of course will. Uh, be a fantastic way to root those brand new uh, Droid 2s or updated Droid Xs and, uh, and, and Droid 1s when they become available. Uh, the reboot here is actually so the system will recognize uh, the super user permissions application, which is the kind of the gatekeeper for root privileges. It's the application that says what can and can't um, access root. And so it's an important application. We really like it, of course. So you can see the phone is started back up, SD card's prepared. Still loading some background services here you can see. But while it does that, we're going to come back and first we're going to go back to Easy Root. You can see same little greeting message, I agree. Now this time you're brought right back to the screen where you're given a few different options. Uh, there's some recommended applications like BusyBox and DroCap and Wi-Fi Tether and Raw Manager. But you also get the unroot button, so if you happen to uh, be selling the phone or taking it back to Verizon or something like that, just hit that little unroot button and uh, you're right back to stock in that sense. So we will come back though for our demonstration though and we'll open Wi-Fi Tether. You can see no warnings. Click it. Now normally if this is your first time you get the uh, super user permissions message there, but my super user permission settings are already there. And there we go. We are good to go. We have root. And we'll do one other little example. We'll use um, one of my favorites just because of the way you activate it. Uh, DroCap. We can start it. And let's say we want a, let's get a screenshot shot of easy root. You just shake. Yeah, I think I accidentally, what did I do wrong? You open DroCap, you start it. There, now it's running up top. Don't know what I did wrong that first time there. Shake it, and we should get a pretty picture in our gallery. If we go to folders, oh, yeah, there's the DroCap folder right there. So, oh, and there it is. I did, did take one the first time. That was just my mistake. You can see there's, there's the two that we did. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, a couple of root applications working beautifully on the Droid X with Easy Root. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy.